The HISD board decided to extend the school day for the first semester of classes so that students can make up time that was lost during Harvey. Channel 2's Brandon Walker live now with a list of the schools affected and how many extra minutes a day we're talking about here. Brandon? And Dominique, we're talking about 12 schools in total, including Coulter Elementary here in Meyerland. This school, as well as six others, will see the school day extended by 55 minutes, and not everyone's pleased with that. I am a fourth grader at Coulter Elementary School. 55 extra minutes of school. And I speak for the kids and parents of Coulter Elementary when I say, please don't. Says Oliver Hoffman is no good. He wrote a letter addressed to HISD Superintendent Richard Carranza stating his case. I think people need to spend more time with their loved ones to recover, and adding that hour would interfere. Hoping HISD's Board of Trustees would agree. Item passes. It did not. HISD's Board of Trustees approved a plan to extend the school day for schools which, like Coulter, haven't opened yet because of damage from Hurricane Harvey. There is no perfect solution, uh, and as we've talked about over the course of this weather event, uh, flexibility is going to be key. Flexibility in this case means 12 schools will have a longer day. Seven schools will see class time extended by 55 minutes, Coulter included. Five others, 25 minutes. The extension only applies to the first half of the school year. The only reason we have 25 is because the state says you have to do 75,600 minutes. Board members debated the plan, questioning whether the time would be meaningful or if extending the time over the course of the school year would be better. Superintendent Richard Carranza supports it. If you're going to give me some extra time, let me be able to use that time in a substantive way. Now, this is not free. Tonight at the meeting, it was told that this would cost about two million bucks. Right now, HISD says that money will come from reserves and they'll figure it out as the time progresses. If you want to see a full list again, we've got it for you on our website tonight. Click to Houston.com. On the southwest side, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.